Hey guys, let's talk about how I created this cool age progression video using AI tools. Check it out. So I would love to tell you that I came up with this concept on my own, but I did not. I follow a gentleman on LinkedIn named Ruben Hussid, and Ruben created his own uh, age progression video of a South Indian woman, which you see right here, which I think is super phenomenal. Now, this is one of the things that I love about the AI community is how open they are with sharing their tools and their resources. So Ruben shared his details for how he created this video. So he talked about the tools that he used. He gave us mid journey, which is an AI image generation. He actually shared the prompt that he used. Um, and then the ages that he chose. Okay. Similarly, he shared uh, the tools and settings that he used in Runway. So I'm going to show you how I actually went through and did the same thing. Uh, I'm going to jump over to Discord and show you how I used his exact prompts to generate my own images. And these were pretty good. These were pretty good. Now, one of the things that Ruben said that he did was try to choose a woman who might have looked like the previous woman. So the women all look similar. So it kind of looked like an age progression. And they're all kind of in the same position. So facing the same way. Um, a couple of times I could not get her facing to the right. Like I could get this kid facing to the right. But there were a few other times when I couldn't quite get it to generate. But that was fine with me. And so the ages that I chose went from, I want to say, um, 10 months old. So I think I did uh, 10 months old and then 2, 5, 10, uh, 20, 30. Um, and then I skipped up to 50, 75, and 95. Okay. And so those were the ages that I chose. And then I went over to Runway, and if you're not familiar with Runway ML, okay, uh, go to Runway ML, and it's, it's RunwayML.com, and then sign up for an account. And what you want, uh, Runway has lots of uh, AI tools that you'll love, right? Lots of AI tools that you love. Uh, their most popular is the text to video generation. However, I have not found that it's very good. You get very little to no movement, um, kind of doesn't really do a good job of creating the subject, but, uh, it's, it's showing promise. So I suspect within the next, you know, a few months, we'll start seeing it get a lot better. They have other tools like they have the, ba the video background remover, uh, you can train your own image generator, um, but none of these really work very well, in my opinion, not for me. So here's what I do. When I'm on the home page, I look for view all tools. The one thing that they have that works so seamlessly and nothing else compares is the frame interpolation. So when I click the home page, and I click view tools. It says view all tools, view less tools. I'm going to click view all tools and scroll down till I see the airplane where it says frame interpolation. And this is the only tool I use this for because, of course, you know, when you generate on some um, on this platform, every time you generate something, it uses credits. OK, so I want to get the most bang for my buck. So I absolutely love their frame interpolation. Now you can click here to upload images, but in this case, I've already uploaded them. So I'm just going to select all the images that I have here. Okay. I've already done them. I'm going to select them and I'm just going to, I hold, held down my shift key, selected one, held down the shift key, went and selected the last one I wanted and I'm going to drag them up here 
and that's 12 images. Now here's something that really happened, and this is very new. I don't think that Ruben experienced this because his kids started at age five. Look at this, image may contain appropriate, inappropriate content, okay? So for whatever reason, the ones that seemed to give me an issue were the small children, five, two, and 10 months. Uh, anything under the age of five, I was not able to upload. And I'm gonna assume that this is some sort of protective measure against uh, children images that might not be used appropriately. Um, and I'm all for that, so I didn't even get upset. I just kind of found me a workaround. So I decided not to use this platform to try to do anything with children images, and I totally respect that. Um, and so the other thing you want to do is once you got all your images that you can use, once you have them updated, make sure you put them in chronological order. Like So this is the 95-year-old woman. By the way, I named her Ayana. So this is Ayana at 95. She's going to go last. 75, I'm going to move the 50 over here. Okay, I'm going to, she's a little bit younger here. Okay, and this is how I'm going to progress the ages here. Okay, so here is how we do use the settings. Okay, so Ruben said he used advanced. And he made his clip duration 30 seconds, but since I ended up with fewer pictures, I'm going to make my clip duration about 15 seconds because I think he used nine images and I have two, three, six. So I'm going to cut that down to, uh, I'm going to say 17, 16 seconds. That should be good enough. And he used a transition time of 85%. And so I'm going to use the same transition time at 85%. And I'm going to click generate. Now, while that's generating, because um, it does take a few minutes for it to generate, and then once it generates, it'll actually end up in your, when you click export here, oh, it did it, it's done. When I click export, okay, it's going to actually move this to my assets. Now I'm going to change this. I already did, named it Ayana. I already did an aging two, so I'm gonna name this aging three. I'm gonna keep it as an MP4, but you can also do it, I think, as a move file. Oh, nope, pro resolution. I don't want that to upgrade it. And I'm gonna do it at the 1080, because that's pretty standard for like YouTube and things like that. And I'm gonna click export. And again, while it's exporting, when it finishes exporting, you'll get a notification that it moved to your assets. But right now it's at 6%. Let's talk about what I did to go ahead and um, use the younger images. I actually had to go into a video e editor. And so I used Filmora, okay? And I am using the desktop version of Filmora. And I was able to go in and add all my pictures. I think that they are each, um, let's see the timing I put in here. The duration I did was about two seconds each. And then I did a transition and they do have a morphing transition. And so I'll just give you a sneak peek of what that looks like really quick. Okay, and so not nearly as cool as the runway frame interpolation, but this was the way that I was able to get like all my images on there, all my images on there. Let's go back and take a look and see. Yep, okay, so it's ready. I'm gonna go to assets and it's showing my assets. Number three, it's here. And let's take a look at what it did. Now this one won't have music because I didn't edit it, edit the music in, but here we go. Oh, 
And as you can see, I will definitely like how much smoother the transition is um, with Ayana. So I definitely like that. So if you can get all your images to go into Runway, I definitely recommend that we use Runway. If not, you can use some sort of image med editor. I absolutely love Filmora. I've tried pretty much every film editor that's out there. Filmora by far is the easiest and they kind of have a one-time lifetime license that you can buy. So I love that as well. All right, that's it for me. Um, if you create some of these age progression images, please let me know and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.